Hey guys, I decided to change my track layout to get a feel for what it's like with a more technical track. So I just set it up last night and it's changed the ranking of my favourite cars because my favourite cars on the high speed track are different to the ones that can handle this track with my current mobility. So I'll just show some of the cars driving around it. First up is a Nissan Skyline GTR R33 Midnight Purple and this one would traction roll like crazy on the high speed track. It would do multiple barrel rolls any time it went around a corner. So let's see how it goes. And there it goes, traction rolling still. It has trouble with the tight turns because on the power it understeers quite a bit. So not a good fit to the track. Next up is the Lexus SC430 Patronus. Just not really used to this track. Okay, an improvement over the Nissan GTR, but um, probably not the best fit. We'll try another one. Next up is a Honda Civic Type R. Now this one's got a lot of potential because its front wheel drive layout might actually suit the track because you can put the power down in the corners and it will probably have a bit of um, wheel spin and traction roll, which I think will help it get around the corners well, rather than the cars that will grip and turn sharply. So let's see. So I can see the back end is bouncing around a bit, but that's alright, it's actually doing this track really well. Yep, so the bouncing at the rear actually gives a bit of oversteer on the high speed corner, which is good. So this car seems to be a good fit for the track, I just need more practice with it to get used to it. Alright, move on to the next car. So the Enzo Ferrari was an absolute champ on my high speed track, so let's see how it goes on a tight technical track. The only concern I have is that it's sharp turn in might mean if I aren't careful it's going to turn in too sharp and I'll hit the inside corners.
the power seemed to work well on the track. It's got a good turning circle for the tight bits. And I think I just need more practice with it to get used to it. Moving on to the next one. So how will the yellow corn McLaren F1 long tail do? Let's see. It's actually doing very well. I just need to get used to the feel of it. It's got good stability, it's got good turning where we fly. Okay, that one is definitely one of the best ones so far. I really like the feel of that one. So, how will the McLaren F1 short tail do? So, with the narrow offset and shorter overhangs front and rear. And you might be able to hear that the steering servo is doing the jitter, which is usually a sign that I need to charge the batteries because the, the servo jitters before you notice the difference in the power on the motor. So that's the way I tell when it's time to charge the batteries. So let's give it a go. Oh, I can tell already it's really good. It's got really good turn in. It takes the tight bits really well. And it's just easy to drive. <laughs> Speak too soon. And again. Whoa. So this is also a winner on the track, just needs me to get more practice. This is the last one I'm going to try in this session. So it's a Lexus SC430 test car black, 94mm wheelbase rear mount motor. So this one has a super, super tight turn in, so I'll have to be careful of that because at low speed it will just turn in so sharply. This one feels fantastic on the track too, and the sharp turning wasn't as big an issue as I thought it would be. But once again, I need to practice. Alright, that was an interesting session to see how the cars do. So I personally prefer my old track, the high speed one. It was a lot easier to drive and it was fun seeing them go quickly on the straights. This one um, will certainly take more practice to get used to. But I'm glad I tried this because I was trying this to get a feel for a track that will be similar to when I make a two level track and I can see that I prefer high speed, less technical tracks. So hope you found this of interest guys. I'll catch you later.